I've seen some of you, the way that you dress, there is no madman who says I'm a madman. The first way you know a madman is by his behavior and by his apparel. Many of us, and, and I'm not a judgmental person, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a conservative person and, and quite liberal, but then let me tell you the truth. There are many of you, huh? both male and female, don't even think I'm talking about ladies or both male and female. I've seen some of you, the way that you dress and then the things you are asking that I should pray for you for. I already know that it's not even just, even if it's released from heaven, your personal, it would run away from you. Remember, I told you that what you are looking for is also looking for you, but not this version of you. Hold on. Please listen. I love you. I have a commitment to help you. From today, act like royalty. Iron your cloth. Don't say it is cheap. It's no, no. Don't dress and look like a thief. Dress and look like an irresponsible person just because you are coming to the house of God. No. Discipline yourself. Be careful the things you ship from around the world. You are a child of God. Are we together? Dress well. Look at yourself. Ask wise people to look at you. That's right. No, no, no. These are the implications of being royalty. And don't you say I should not talk to you about it. My son, he says, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. He says they are life to those who find them. Some of you, this is what you need to change in your life. Even if God gives you one million, you will spend it on riotous living and you will not invest in the things that are consistent with royalty. The shoe might be cheap, polish it. If you are leaving your hair comb it, look nice, look smart. Don't look like somebody who is not going anywhere. And don't say it does not matter. Are we together? The liberty God has given us is not for licentiousness. We must obtain grace to be responsible people. Grace to be responsible people. And then let me tell you this. There is no king that sits on a throne who is dull. In fact, most kings justify their royalty through the excellency of their understanding. That means if it is true that you are royalty, it's time to re-edit your thinking, your concepts, and be rich unto God, full of spiritual understanding. Hallelujah. That you know what to do. If it is true that you are royalty, and you have been in church for a while, you should not be at a loss as to what to do about the matters of life, whether it's in your own life or that of others. Someone comes to you as a believer who has been around for a while. I'm trusting God for financial increase. You don't know what to tell the person. I'm trusting God to be free from demons. You say, go and listen to a message. That is wonderful. But when you who has listened to it, why don't you understand it and now be an interpreter of that thing? Everybody says spiritual understanding. Yes, sir. At this point in your life, it may not be fair to say you, you should know everything, but at least if you don't know something about prayer, you should know something about giving. You should know something about relationships. You should know something about the dynamics of manifesting spiritual realities. You cannot be a blessing in ignorance. When they came to Solomon, they came to the king. Watch what happened. Two women, one, they slept on one another and then their children died and one exchanged, you know, and they came to Solomon. It was a big issue. It was the first test of his being a king. The wisdom that he had accessed from God. Here's what he said. He said, bring me the sword. That sword is the word of God. The moment the word of God came in because it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Can I tell you? If you really want a life of beauty and color, please settle down with the word of God and that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture and the Bible says that it is able to make you wise unto salvation. 
meditate on these things he says give yourself wholly to them that your profiting may appear unto all man of god it is time to justify the spiritual investments of god in your life by being someone with sufficient spiritual intelligence no member will come and sit down and keep listening to you when you are not rich in the knowledge of scripture can i tell you people love you but they love their destinies too and no one will come and sit down and submit to you just wasting time shadow boxing not having sufficient spiritual intelligence I have taught you this to the degree to which you are valuable all men will seek for you if it is true that you are a king and you're a priest then you must defend that title and that position by high level spiritual insight high level spiritual insight that when you open your mouth to speak you are speaking solutions to people's problems when they come to you, they know that they will find the wisdom of God. I made up my mind that in the name of Jesus, I will continue to grow. Grow in power, grow in wisdom. All of these seven dimensions that Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12 captures. This will be the, the basis for our prayers tonight. You're going to look at this scripture carefully and find out which part of it is not at work in my life. For some of you, power is zero. Even demons know it. Power is zero. The sons of Sceva, for instance, you can have zero power. No spiritual power whatsoever. Spiritual power is generated from the place of prayer. Spiritual power is generated from the place of illumination and understanding. Power. Have you received power? Have you received riches? Isaac was sharing here. Some of you have deliberately rejected poverty. I mean deliberately rejected the blessing of the Lord. Based on the guise of either a false teaching by well-intentioned people or just carelessness not working in keeping with the principles that guarantee the blessing of the Lord it's time to receive riches and then to receive wisdom and then to receive strength this strength here talks of capacity the staying power the ability to confront the vicissitudes of life without being beaten by them it says if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength can I tell you, the world that we live in today will require men of stamina. That you will refuse to bend. People can insult you, but you stand true. Most of us do not have that strength and that stamina to endure until your blessings manifest. You need strength. Please keep it there. Strength. And then honor. Ah, I've taught you on honor. I told you you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another what is honor honor means being rewarded to match your true worth the perception and the reward that matches your true word your true worth dishonor is the trivializing downplaying demeaning of your value and what you represent can I tell you this you have to receive that grace for honor. There is such a grace for honor. And glory, glory, glory here talks of the excellence that comes with results. He said, oh Lord, our God, how excellent. From the word excel, to excel means to surpass ordinary standards. And blessing. You know by now what blessing is blessing is more than just um having material things mm -mm. material things only come to honor the fact that you are carrying the blessing the blessing works like a magnet is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit upon your life that attracts people attracts opportunities and attracts resources miraculously when you carry the blessing everything needed for life and godliness will gravitate towards you inevitably has someone learned something